All right, so the first thing we'll talk about is length. If you're purchasing a new chain for your saw, uh, you need to know the length of the, of the uh, chain, obviously, and the easiest way to do that is by looking right on the bar. This is a fairly new saw, so it's fairly easy to see. If you look on the right side of the uh, saw, on the bar, right up closest to the power head, um, let me get you zoomed in here, you can see that it says it's a 20 inch bar, uh, 063 gauge and 325 pitch. So that's the easiest way to tell the length, pitch and gauge of your bar. Uh, but there are other ways to tell if you've used your saw for a while, um, that's probably gonna be worn off and really hard to read. So I'll show you some ways that you can figure it out if you can't read the bar. All right, we're kind of gonna go in order from the easiest measurement to the, the most challenging measurement. And the easiest one is gonna be the length of your bar. Uh, all you gotta do is measure with a tape measure from the tip of your bar back to the front of the power head. What you wanna be measuring is the usable length of the bar. Uh, you don't wanna measure this part back here where it attaches to the power head, just the usable length of the bar and we're right at 20 inches there. So this is a 20 inch bar. Now, if your measurement comes up a little short, let's say it's 18 and, a, eight, 18 and three quarters, 19 and a quarter, uh, what you wanna do is round up to the next closest even number because all chainsaw bars come in even number lengths. Um, so just round up to the next closest even number. Um, say a 20, so this is a 24 inch bar here on this 460 clone. And we'll take a measurement on this and the measurement on this is about 23 and a half. So we'll round up to 24 inches. That's a 24 inch chain. So that's the easiest way to measure the length of your bar. 